evening everyone myself shreya rajkumar khanapure i am studying in 10th standard my surname is mankare sir so today i am going to tell about a silent words so we all know that in english alphabets there are 26 alphabets they are divided into two vowels and consonants vowels are 5 and consonants are 21 uh, as we know that a e i o are the vowels that uh, and uh, remaining are consonants uh, we are also know, uh, consider that y is vowel also and a consonants also y is vowel also and consonant also so my topic is uh, silent words so now we'll uh, let us go or learn about a silent word so see here if in a word there are uh, if in a word two consonants are there in that uh, one vowel is arising here the, in one vowel which the consonant sound which is high it will remain and the consonant sound which is low it will silent there for example we understood that half in half word uh, h and l are the consonant a is a vowel so here a is a vowel and h and l are the consonant so here h word is a high word uh, high pronunciation yes sir l f are the consonants l sound is a L sound is a uh, low sound and F sound is a high sound. Therefore, while pronouncing it is coming as half. And another example wrong. We are telling it as a wrong, but why we are telling it as a wrong? Behind it, a reason is there. See here, W and L are the consonants, and O is a vowel. So therefore, one vowel means two consonants are there. must be there so therefore w and r are the consonant o is a vowel therefore w sound is a low sound and r sound is a high sound therefore w is silenting here while pronouncing it it is coming as wrong and another example calf so here uh, l f are the consonant a is a vowel so while pronouncing it L is silenting and F is a high sound. Therefore, while pronouncing it is coming as calf. Another example: knowledge. See here, O is also vowel and E is also vowel. In this word, two times vowels are coming. So means there are four consonant is there. See here, W, O, K, and N are the consonant so therefore k sound is a low sound n sound is a high sound therefore k is silenting here and while pronouncing it is coming has knowledge and another e is also a consonant uh, vowel d and g are the consonant so here d sound is a uh, low sound g sound is a high sound while uh, and d is silenting here so while pronouncing it it is coming has knowledge and another example should so here uh, o is a vowel s h are the consonant yes sound is a high sound h sound is a low sound therefore s is remaining here and h is silenting the, so therefore while pronouncing it is coming as should so in above we told that y is also a uh, vowel but uh, some sir tell that y is a consonant so therefore uh, how it is vowel we take an example like psychology psychology yes why yes why ha yes why wait sir so psychology means uh, here uh, telling you say p from starting the p is coming here 
while pronouncing we tell it as a physiology why we are not telling as a physiology why we are telling psychology means here why is a oval p sound uh, p word and yes. s words are the consonants so, so here p s y c h o l o g o so here p s are the consonant y is a oval here p word is a low sound and h s sound is a high sound therefore p word is silenting and um, o is a oval c and h are the consonant therefore uh, h sound uh, h sound is a low sound and c sound is a high sound therefore h is silenting here while pronouncing it is coming as psychology Thank you.